Hi, Lenise Willis here, your Editor-in-Chief of Gifts and Decorative Accessories, and welcome to our video series, Thoughts That Count. Today we're going to be talking about adding interest and intrigue in your store. You know, you're really talking about when you're decorating your home, you want to find that conversation starter, that really fun piece, um, and your store is no different, right? So we want to add conversation starters to your store. Um, one way that we've been chatting about on how to do that is with fun textures. Um, I know that's something that you've really been um, talking about because you had some cool finds and things too. So, Yeah, I definitely think some of the stuff we've got to show today are extremely unique and they're going to really cause a reaction in stores. Um, so I just think that customers really like to, when they're going to a gift shop, they're trying to find that thing that's you know, that's not going to be something they can find in your everyday store. They want something that's going to be a really thoughtful and unique gift, and I think these are definitely uh, fit the bill for that. Yeah, and the great thing about products with a fun texture is you really can't buy them online because you want to feel them. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, that's the yeah. whole fun of it is yeah. going to touch and feel them. Um, so I, you have a very fun item, and I'm really interested to know about this. So tell me what you have here, Alex. Yeah, so this is a purse with, uh, it's actually got a crossbody strap on the inside here so you can kind of wear it as a really large clutch or as a crossbody strap and when I saw this I had no idea what this was made from so this purse is actually made from a large freshwater fish from the Amazon oh. and it's a monster fish they uh -huh. can grow up to seven or eight feet long and up to 200 pounds mm -hmm. so um, I'm sure you can probably make quite a few purses yeah. out of that and who makes this purse? This is Piper and Sky. Amory, I know you have a cool product too that everyone was like feeling while yeah. you were at the markets. Everyone stopped by. I need to feel this. <laughs> so, what did you bring today? So, this is a bag by the company Canoe. They're based out of Georgia. I met them at a market and um, I just loved their products. It smelled so good. Mm -hmm. um, and they sent me this bag. Um, it's cowhide and it's from Brazil cows. Oh. And at the markets um, that I've been taking it to, people have wanted to pet it. Love that. Um, and Alex, you actually brought in some of your husband's shoes. So these shoes are by Dan Post, and they are made from rattlesnake skin. My husband said that uh, when he that he found these in Georgia as well mm -hmm. in a store there, and when he saw them, he just thought that they would be something that would be really interesting. That he knew if he got these boots, people were going to get a reaction, and uh -huh. that happens every time he wears them. Uh -huh. People go, "Whoa, look at those shoes!" Yeah. So, so there's definitely a lot of really cool exotic products out there um, that can engage customers. Um, but of course, there's really cool stories behind them. So how do we, how can retailers tell those stories? So one thing I think you could do is post a, take a picture and post it on social and tell your customers, this is a texture that's uh, really crazy to feel. Like you have to feel it to believe it. So really exotic finds. Um, thank you guys so much for bringing these in. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in. Just remember, you know, really know your customer. I know we preach that a lot, but especially here, you do want to know your customer's price point because we obviously have varying price points here, but also what is your customer comfortable with? What sort of causes do they support? And you don't want your products to be in conflict with that. So that is certainly something to consider as well. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and remember that it is the thought that counts.